How many of my members don't know how to do a vlog, and how many have they done? Uh, <clears throat> I haven't been here for a while. We noticed. <laughs> we noticed. <laughs> okay. Um... Hello, and welcome to another edition of FAC Weekly. Vlog. It's not a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tyler Schlipp. And I am Kemp Larson. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> For our weekly activities, one, we shot the prop project. We also shot scenes from Purple Sweatshirt, which was quite goofy. We edited the LAB Lego Angry Birds. So, Daniel, what are you doing right here? Uh, editing my Lego Angry Birds project was it, which. As you can see here, I'm changing the frame rate of all the pic pictures individually. Uh, so you sound a little dejected. <laughs> yeah, I am, because I wasn't here for the 15th, so I have a lot of work ahead of me. We also fixed up the green screen because we had a lot of creases, and it looks slightly better. <laughs> Still pretty creasy. <laughs> and finally, we cleaned the room, though it's very unnoticeable. We cleaned everything up, including all the stuff that we had donated to us, which was a lot of old equipment. And for our weekly announcements, the Film Arts Club has officially launched their own website! Woohoo! Yeah! Link in the description! Follow it, check us out! Down there, that thing. Little blue bar. Yeah, the blue bar. Yeah, go down there, check it out. Because the site's pretty awesome, it's got tons of stuff, and it has room for expansion, so please go check it out. Now, here's your clip from last week. Now for your outtake of the week. It's me. Right. Hello, how are you doing, Hello, Mr. Hello. Hand? Right. Meh, meh, meh. That, that looks lovely <laughs> today. <laughs> oh, gosh. It can only be turned on a few times. Last week, you, the audience, decided that you wanted to take a tour of our computer systems and how we edit. So, here it is. So, we originally had a better setup for showing you this, but uh, we kind of didn't prepare very well, so we're going to take you through a tour, but it's not as good as we thought it would be. Just FYI. So, this is our first computer that we have hooked up to the internet system. Um, this is a dual monitor, which people absolutely love. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I can operate between two different monitors. Um, this has, well, it's going to have a screenwriting program. Right now it has all the writing programs, so we can write all of our scripts on there, and uh, we can connect to the internet and get stuff like that that we need. Um, it doesn't have an editing program on it at the moment. It used to, but we don't have another hard drive to hook up to it yet, so. Another computer's coming, and uh, that's what that will be for. So this is just a, like a basic all use, all purpose computer other than editing. Um, this 
is our main editing computer, and you only get to know the name of this computer if you are in the Film Arts Club. Um, this was our very first computer that we ever got. It's super, super old, and it's got like compartments missing that are all dusty, and it makes all kinds of weird sounds when it's rendering, all that other fun stuff. Um, it has a relatively nice sound hookup, um, nice uh, media keyboard that we can use when editing and turning the volume up and down and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, you can see it has a sticker here, that Spock, live long and prosper. That is not Han Solo's quote. I don't know who came up with that. They're idiots. Um, so this has all of our editing programs on it. It is not hooked up to the internet and so it, it, it can't do anything that internet wise. But this has our editing programs from Adobe Premiere Pro, which did not minimize. But anyway, that's it has Adobe, it has After Effects, it has Encore, it has um, Sound Booth, Audition. It basically has all the editing programs that we use here at the Film Watch Club, and it's got our lovely logo. Um, and then this computer can also be hooked up to our soundboard, which is used in post-production audio. See whatever, whatever vlog that was. And um, that hooks into this computer so we can record sound from the sound booth into the computer. Sound booth. So that's our computer setup. Um, oh, that's our tour. Thank you and good night. For our challenge this week, our former member, Marquis Threese, has challenged Daniel Drake to a Rubik's Cube solving thing. <laughs> challenge. Challenge. That's the word. <laughs> so. Um, they have several different options that they can do, and this is what you, the audience, will vote on. They can either A, just solve the Rubik's Cube, that's all colors, all sides. B, solve each color separately. Like in a row. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> or C, they can solve it to a particular pattern that we give them. Leave your votes in the comment box below. Subscribe, and we will see you next week. Off we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, cut. Tyler. 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 Are you okay? Tyler. All right, I'm just gonna pause. Oh my God.